Did you say $5? Yeah, yeah, sure. Have a joint then. Well, thank you. Good doing business with you. Yeah. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... So, yeah, um, Liberty activists gathering uh, for more yeah, marijuana civil disobedience. Did you say five dollars? And Travis, you said you're going to try something that has. Five dollars here. Yeah, yeah, here. Have a joint then. Well, thank you. Good doing business with you. Yeah, Veterans Park, Manchester. So every day, openly, uh, an open sale. And that's the first time that's been done. Uh, out in the open, correct? In this, on camera, purposely. In this yeah. 420 rebellion, I guess. Yeah, I I think so. So. What made you want to do that uh, openly? Because there's a law against it and it shouldn't exist. So here's, a, you know, here's a video evidence that it happened and nobody got hurt and we're gonna still be peaceful here and. Well, that's, that's it. Okay, thanks, Travis. What will you do if they uh, attempt to cite you or fine you uh, for for the sale, Travis? I thought I had seven. What will you do if they attempt to fine you or cite you for the for the violation? I will give them my name. I'll just you know, I'll, they'll take me to jail and they'll fingerprint me and they'll get my fingerprints because I've been to jail before. Isn't sale a felony? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. But at least then I get a jury. Yeah. So your goal yeah. would be to get in front of a jury trial. Yeah, get VJ out there, and unless that's tampering with a witness, I don't know. Maybe we find out. One issue always leads to another. That it does, but I actually think I've given out all my joints. Oh no, okay, I got one more. I got the one I'm going to smoke. So what happened? Uh, we tried to uh, pass out some flyers and stuff. We just got a late start and realized that the uh, all the college flyers campuses, where? Uh, what is it? Southern New Hampshire University. Oh, so you weren't you weren't trying to interact with the cops. Oh no, not, I, oh, okay. I, I thought he was talking about do we interact with the local city? I see. All right. Uh, no, I haven't talked with any police since uh, since we got here. I've been here for like a half hour, but I've been on the phone most of the time. So. Haven't seen any cops stopping. Police driving around, but they're just kind of looking over here because they see the signs. What'd you say, Neil? One minute to 420, I think. All right, so now it's 420. I guess it's a time zone issue. Got a light. One thing that was mentioned is that we all stand in a big circle, shoulder to shoulder, and those that are partaking stand in the center of the circle. So that way, the, any officers that may have the idea to arrest you can't just sneak up behind you. They have to get through the outer circle first. But you're easy to hold on. Well, we're not hiding. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go. Ow! Barnes is not flavored. They're all right. Uh, cops on bikes are uh, now inbound. Or at least they're. Well, they've gone past the entrance to the park. Now to get to this, they'd have to go some distance around. They like wolves circling, but you don't know if they really are hungry for this particular type of lamb. Hi! Yes, we are! There's another one across the street, too. Anyone next? Anyone want? I want. Take up the one of my favorite things about protests like this that go on for a long, you know, long number of days is that there's plenty of room to take advantage of ideas for improvement. In fact, you don't really want to do your best work at first. You want to save it for a week or two in. So you can have room to grow. 
<laughs> Sitting here now with Dana from Manchester, who uh, I guess you, a couple of your friends uh, brought you, and you, uh, I guess, saw this on the, on the TV earlier or on the on the internet earlier. Yeah, actually, we were down here yesterday. Oh, so you were here yesterday. Yep. We, oh, so you were at the event yesterday. The event yesterday. Yeah, we kind of just I just kind of observed yesterday, but I wanted to get involved today. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, but you were saying you actually don't personally smoke pot. I don't, but I did back in college. Um, I have nothing against anybody who wants to do it. They could actually legalize this. The drug and alcohol program is already in place. The way to legalize it now would be to sell it only in liquor stores to people of 21 years or older, tax it like they do cigarettes and alcohol. It's a win-win for the state and for the people who do it. And you're, you're a long-term uh, New Hampshire resident? Or? Yes, I am. I was born and raised here in New Hampshire. All right, awesome. Thanks for coming out. Thanks. There's been some talk of setting up another event similar to this one uh, in the Lebanon area, or at least I guess it's coming up for discussion in, in Lebanon tonight at a Free Stater meeting in Lebanon, New Hampshire. There's also been some discussion of possibly uh, some events like this in Concord, but all of it's just very speculative at this point. I'm estimating turnout today at uh, 29, uh, which is slightly yet uh, slightly less than yesterday. It may have to do with the fact that uh, there's heavy rain in the forecast and it's already started to sprinkle. Of course, I was talking earlier about you know how uh, we have room for improvement. Uh, one thing that could be done to increase numbers, and we can always do it any time later, would be to take this event from sort of the interior of the park out to the sidewalks, or at least take part of it out to the sidewalks. A couple Gadsden flags out there and a couple signs would really draw more of a crowd. I have something to say. Oh, yes. You know, um, you know how people like they get prescription marijuana? Yeah, in, in California, most notably, and lots of other places now, too. Well, see, states, I think. Even, even Manchester does it. Because my grandmother, who used to live down here, she had a heart attack a couple years ago, and they gave her prescription marijuana. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com.